Uh, pupils in all year groups in England are due to go back to school in September, but that brings with it challenges for teachers, for parents, about the safest way to protect children. And as the Prime Minister relaxes social distancing measures, would the new guidance of one metre plus make a difference? What kind of difference? Breakfast John Maguire is live at a secondary school in Bristol for us this morning. How are they preparing? Morning to you. Morning, Louise. Yeah, well, let's give you a bit of a quick look round. This is going to be a Year 10 classroom. They're about to do Science and PHSE later on this morning. Mr Joyce, good morning, sir. Uh, preparing the lessons, getting ready to go. But as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six desks here. Ordinary times, of course, there would be more than 30. If the head teacher takes the decision to go down to a metre, well, you can see, really, they'll only get a few more in. So, certainly, as regards that idea of getting everybody back to school in September, there's still a lot of work to do. Rock, paper, scissors. There's an abundance of creativity, energy and resilience on show in the playground at Summerhill Academy in Bristol. Go on, guys, make sure you keep your two-metre distance at all times, please. If the school chose to reduce the gap from two to one metre, what difference would it make to pupil numbers? For us, we've done some estimations and at the moment we can safely have eight children in every classroom. Um, we think that at a metre will be somewhere nearer 12 or 13 children in every classroom. Uh, we have to allow for those children to be able to move around and still have a metre's distance away from their friends and from the teaching staff. The government says it's up to schools in England to decide whether or not to change the rules, but the maximum class is 15. And then I would like you to improve on what your writing says. Our parents agree on two things. Children must go back to school full time when it's safe and that the autumn term can't come soon enough. John Maguire, BBC News. Back at Hannam Woods Secondary, uh, you can see there they've got the sanitizer, hand sanitizers all set up, a one-way system. There's a sort of a chicane inside to, to get into the pods. You have to go in around, wash your hands before you get into the classroom. Say good morning to Steve Neller, the good principal morning. here. Uh, going down from two metres to one metre plus. Steve, you've only got two weeks left of term after that comes in. Indeed. Will you do it? Um, well, the guidance is two metres where you can and reducing to one metres if you have to. We've set our academy up with lots of health and safety measures around two metres and we will probably maintain that. The other guidance is that out here for us is uh, around year 10s and only having 25% of them on site and we've reached that capacity. So actually moving to one metre wouldn't allow us to get any more sites, uh, students on site unless the government changed that guidance as well. If the rules don't change before September, can you come back fully loaded in September? It will be a real challenge. Um, one metre means we can probably get 20 students in a classroom and normally we'd have 30, um, but being creative uh, educationists, we'll find a way. Creative edu educationalists. Uh, wonderful. Great to see you. Steve, thank you. Archie, good morning. Year 10. Big year for you next year. You'll be doing your GCS GCSEs. Yeah. Uh, how are you feeling? How have the last few months been for you? Uh, yeah, it's been a while. I've been working hard at home, but it's quite stressful, seeing as like we lost quite a few months of work and stuff. Would have been better for you to have maintained schooling throughout. Yeah. But yeah. back this week, aren't you? And Callie, yeah. you're year 10 as well, so you're back this week for the first time, just for that last couple of weeks of term. How's it been to get back? It's been really nice to be back in our classrooms and having live lessons with our teachers again. It's just been nice to be back and see everyone. Yeah, there's no, no replacement for that personal contact, is there? Finn, hi. hi. Year 9. Now, you, yeah. you're the hardest working man in British education. No. <laughs> <laughs> You've been here throughout, haven't yeah. you, for the whole time. Yeah. How's the learning process been for you? Um, it's been decently good, yeah. Um, I feel like what we're doing on show my homework and stuff like that is good. Now, the fact that you could actually get help from your teacher as you come back in the school, I feel like that will really help people. Yeah, yeah. OK, well, good luck. Uh, with the uh, next coming weeks and months ahead of you. And the twins, morning, Poppy and Daisy, year seven, so relatively new at the school. How have you both been coping? Um, it's been better now we're at school because we've got more help with the teachers, but it's been a, a lot easier at school now. Yeah. Yeah, the same really, because it's nice to be in school and have like the help from our te teachers as well, so, yeah. yeah. 
Good. Well, very nice to see you this morning. And Lynn, good morning. You have morning. a child in year nine. Uh, talking to the principal just now about September. Gosh, that's going to be with us before we know it, isn't yeah. it? Uh, what are your thoughts? Can't wait to get back in September. Um, the home learning is great, and the child's kept up with the learning, but there's no substitute for real live lessons with face-to-face -face with the teacher and to see all their friends and just get back into the school community again. It's going to be great when they can come back. And when you see the steps that the school have taken even to, to get children mm -hmm. back, the limited number at this stage, does that give you confidence, assurance? It does. I feel extremely confident that my child's going to be safe and I think they're safer here than they would be, say, in the local supermarket. Or walking around because the social distancing is going to be maintained, the hygiene's going to be maintained. So I've got no worries at all about them coming back. <laughs> Great. Thank you for talking to us this morning. Great to see you all. Uh, give everyone at home a wave. Say thanks very much. Uh, good to talk to you. Very interesting, isn't it, to hear, I think, as we said in the film there, there's certainly no one size fits all. Uh, but everyone here who's back to school, very pleased to be here. Talk to you later. Um, absolutely, John, and what I really loved about that is that you went, went through nearly all the year groups. Or maybe... You need more guests, John. Yeah, You've not got enough guests, guests this morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We leave no stone unturned on this programme. <laughs> Maguire got a full classroom there Thank this morning. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.